Hey guys, today is um, a video that, like, inspiration just strikes, and when it strikes, I have to sit down and film. That's how things work recently. If you guys are on board with that, subscribe to the like comment for engagement. Whoa, that came out like a bundle of something, just sounds, but not like an actual word. Subscribe, hit that bell, like and comment for engagement. And the last two are very important, like and comment for engagement. The higher the engagement, the more videos get pushed out, the more people we get to <laughs> talk about topics with. Today was all about the Tarte brand trip and I might seem like I'm a little bit late to the game. I was just waiting for a development and here I am with the development. If you guys don't know, Tarte did a brand trip, kind of like the brand trips of the good old days, you know, when everyone used to go to Bora Bora and Hawaii and like all the different places and they would all stay in these big houses together and take Instagram pictures and do the whole thing, you know, go on yachts and stuff. And we used to watch this happen in like 2015 um, and that was really the boom and craze of like PR, like I said, brand trips, affiliate links. Like that was really the peak of it, but it was mainly on YouTube. Um, I think it was like, it was some like Instagram makeup influencers, but I feel like most of them also had a YouTube channel. So it was just kind of like a very YouTube focused, YouTube heavy thing. And everyone would post a vlog about it. Everyone would post Instagram stories about it, Snapchat stories, the whole thing. And there was always some kind of drama on these brand trips. That's what made them really fun. Is like, you'd pull these personalities into one house together and some of them got along, clearly. Um, but some of them maybe only got along online, like when they didn't have to actually cohabit. And then some of them really didn't get along and they went on this brand trip and had to be like friendly and cool, but obviously they didn't get along. And you could tell, like you could just tell what was going on. There were so many tea videos around these brand trips, so many Snapchat stories that we could like decode, decipher. But I think these brand trips really worked at the time because we were all infatuated with influencer culture and kind of the growth of that and how that's all going and all of that stuff. Like we were all infatuated with this like new thing coming out, essentially. Now influencing is kind of like an old thing. Like there's new influencers every day. There's a new platform every day. We're not that excited about it anymore. We're tired, like just film your YouTube videos, film your TikToks and go. Like we don't care anymore. That's why PR doesn't really work anymore. I don't think PR is a really good thing at this point. I think organic marketing with makeup mainly works, but I just don't think it has the same impact that it used to. And that's why we don't really see the same amount of PR hauls that we used to see. Like every single week, someone would post a PR haul. Someone would say, this is all the packages I got. In the same vein, I think brand trips when they first started, we were so like interested in these lives of these influencers. And now we think that these brand trips are a bit dumb, like just a bunch of money being spent on like one mascara, because that's what used to happen. Like one mascara used to get launched and they would all get sent to Bora Bora and we were supposed to be like, oh my God, yay, I'll buy this mascara now that like I've seen so many people in Hawaii with it. It just didn't really make sense, but I understand maybe it's a way for the brand to build relationship with these influencers and like, almost pulled them to their side. And like, if someone sends you to Bora Bora, right, and pays 50 grand for you, uh, because these people are flying first class, they're staying in mansions, they are being on, you know, they're doing activities such as like yachts and pies and doing the whole thing. That's 50K per person minimum. Are you ever gonna say anything bad about them? Like you might not always be super positive, but if you've got nothing positive to say, you would most likely say nothing. Um, so if you don't like a product from that brand from that point onwards, you might just say nothing or you might just lie, you know? And I think these brand trips are kind of like the way to get influencers to really like you more than it is to sell a product. But that's just my opinion. So Tarte recently had a brand trip and this is really the first brand trip that we've seen in a few years, mainly because brand trips were already on a decline, end of kind of 2019 and then pandemic, right? I keep on forgetting this, this blip in our lives, pandemic and then two years obviously of no brand trips. So this is the first like big brand trip that I've seen after the pandemic. It's not the first one, it's the first one that I've paid attention to. Now the main kind of contenders in this brand trip that I've seen, obviously there are a lot of people going, but some of the big, big, big fish. We have Alex Earl, the star of the show. We have Monet, it's Aisha and Azra and they're twins. And then there was this girl that I also saw, Christine Abraham, who I just saw when I looked up the Tarte brand trip hashtag essentially. But I'll get into all of that in a minute. Meredith Duxbury, how could I forget about her? The one that slaps all the foundation on her face. So the problem is all of these influencers went on this brand trip and I think this is the, like I said, this is the first brand trip since all of these girlies blew up. Um, so this is their first like rodeo. This is their first thing. And they clearly don't know how this works because when I used to watch Laura Lee, Manny Mui, Nikita Dragon, Nikki Tutorials, all of them go on these brand trips, they knew how to act they knew what they had to do. Like you didn't have to give them a contract. You didn't have to force them to do stuff. 
it was just known that you have to use these products and you have to use, you know, if, if it's Tarte sending you, then you're gonna use Tarte products and you're gonna hype them up and you're gonna be like, wow, thank you to Tarte for sending me to Bora Bora and I love their mascara. If it's Benefit, it's gonna be, oh my God, the Bang Bang mascara or the whatever it is, is amazing, is incredible. That's the only thing I'm gonna use for the rest of my life. Like you had to really hype it up because they literally spent 50K minimum for you to be there. So you're gonna be nice, you're gonna be pleasant. These girlies didn't get the memo. These girlies didn't get the memo because I'm gonna post a few get ready with me's. So this is Meredith Duxbury. She did a part one and part two. Today is our last day in Dubai with Tarte. I'm so sad. So we leave tonight, or I guess you could say tomorrow morning at 2.30 a.m. And we fly back on my birthday, which is so exciting. So the second we get back home, we're gonna be setting up for the big party. I'm excited for this pool party. I hope everyone gets a little litty. We need to let the celebrations begin. Just a little spillage, no biggie. <laughs> Also, I just want to give a little shout out to the Tarte team. You guys are seriously the sweetest ever. They brought out a birthday cake last night to celebrate me and two other girls on the trip, which is so cute. And she uses, bear in mind, a few of the Tarte products. But tell me why these girlies are using these Tarte products. And <laughs> So it's either they're using other brands' products, and that's fine. They're not really mentioning these products, sure. Uh, but when they do mention a Tarte product, they're not really hyping it up. They're not even <laughs> half the time. You can even see what product they were using. They would just say, oh yeah, this top, something top. And like, not say the name, not say the shade. Like, is it that difficult? I'm not really having a go at these girlies because like, they went to Dubai, they had a great time, sure. I just think, yeah, they weren't given the memo for what was going on. Alex also did her um, Charlotte Tilbury brand deal. She posted it while she was on the Tarte trip. Get ready with me, we're gonna try new products. I already have my base makeup on, but I wanna add some highlight. Charlotte Tilbury came out with her new Hollywood Glow Glide. These are the different shades. We already knew I was going to go towards the pinky one. This is the rose gold. Now, I know that she has drafts because all of these were posted in different orders. So when I went through her account, it was a mixed match of like a Miami University party and then Dubai and then Miami party. So it was clearly she had a lot of drafts that she was posting. But while she was in Dubai, she posted a Charlotte Tilbury highlighter brand deal. And all of these girls in the get ready with me's would hype up Charlotte Tilbury products or at least use them. And we know that Tarte is trying to dupe Charlotte Tilbury products with the wands. So like direct competition. There was another get ready with me with Monet. In that video, in that get ready with me, yeah, they mentioned a few Tarte products, but actually in the beginning of the TikTok, they all start hyping up how much they love Refi. Who else bought the iconic Refi brush? <gasps> From the swirl. Oh my god, I have it right now. I'm using it. I just got the Refi lip liner stuff and I'm so excited. I heard so many good things about it's it. It's so good. It's I heard so it like good. cements to your lips, it does. which I need. I've been loving like the Giorgio Armani. Have you guys tried that fluid sheer like base? It's like a glow that you can put under your foundation. Armani is just like so good. The luminous silk. Foundation. Yes, the luminous silk. You guys have the contour stick, right? The Mario one? I didn't. You know what? I forgot to pack it. So yeah, I'm using, pack I'm using this one. Have you ever tried this me? one? Which one's that? Oh my god. Well, it's a foundation. It's a foundation, but it's like, I get the dark. Is it hourglass? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so good. Their sh is like butter. But no, actually. You have to try the, the blush stick. Oh, I want to try it. Mario is <laughs> fire. Like, Mario stuff is fire. You guys have did to. Did you try the new foundation? Mm -hmm. I didn't. I just keep seeing it everywhere. I have it with me right now. No. Me too. I just yeah. love. The only thing I ever use is the Master Matte palette. That's what I have. It's so good. That's all you need. This I, one, right? I like don't love super sparkly things on my uh -huh. eyes, so I'm like, this is great. And how excited they were to try Refi, which is a whole separate beauty brand. Shouldn't there be some kind of a like NDA situation? I know that's not the correct terminology for this, but like some kind of a contract that says like, do not mention other brands while you're on a trip with our brand. So I was just reading all the comments. So for example, under the Charlotte Tilbury brand deal, the comments are saying, love a Charlotte Tilbury ad in the middle of a Dubai trip for Tarte. Tarte watching this like, Wait, you are on a trip, but pushing Charlotte Tilbury. Is that okay? Tart by day, Charlotte Tilbury by night. The group get ready with me with Monet. I love how you are on a Tarte trip and not one mention of Tarte makeup. This is so real, LMAO. It's Aisha, I went on her TikTok page and she doesn't really post get ready with me, that's not really her style, but she posts just a lot of like her looking pretty and like just different things. And when she was on this trip, like no mention of Tarte makeup. She was just filming herself in Dubai but like no mention of, her, of of like makeup really. She's just filming herself to like a trending sound on TikTok in Dubai looking pretty, which is fair enough, but like not really mentioning Tarte makeup. Even if she's wearing it, 
not really mentioning it. And then we have Azra, who's obviously her twin, and she posts a lot more makeup content. She mentions some like skincare by Tarte and stuff like that. My Tarte Retinol Oil, and I'm just putting it all over my cheeks. Which is more than, you know, what a lot of people have done. And then she does a makeup get ready with me. But a lot of the products aren't Tarte, and a lot of the Tarte ones, she doesn't like actually hype up. I don't know. I just think there's there's some kind of um there should be some kind of a contract that like you're only allowed to use Tarte makeup when you're on a Tarte brand trip. Like I'm sure that's I'm sure that would make sense. And the best part is under that get ready with me, Kylie Cosmetics comments. You know you've not done a great job explaining to these influencers what the purpose of this trip is when someone posts a get ready with me on said trip and another makeup brand says beautiful. Kylie Cosmetics is commenting on a TikTok on a brand trip for Tarte. And then we have this influencer called Christine Abraham and she posts Get Ready With Me's makeup and hauls, which is perfect for this, obviously. And then she did this one TikTok. This is her most viewed and liked TikTok by a mile from this whole trip. It has 200,000 likes and it's nothing to do with makeup, just her and the twins, Aisha and Azra. And then every other TikTok after that only has about 50,000 views. All the big girlies, the ones that get millions of views per TikTok are not really mentioning Tarte. And it's only the people that have like less followers or less views or whatever, they're actually putting in the effort to like advertise the brand that sent them to Dubai. And then I saw a TikTok. Was anyone actually influenced to buy anything from Tarte after the Dubai trip? Cause. And I thought, wow, like I really haven't been influenced to buy anything from Tarte. I don't know if it's anyone else, but I personally don't feel like buying anything from Tarte. And actually in that moment, as a secondary thought, I thought, Wow, I should restock up on that Charlotte Tilbury contour wand that I ran out of recently. And I'm so glad I'm using my Pillow Talk wand as my blush. It's really stunning. And then I went into the comments and the first person is Spill Sesh, who obviously is a fellow drama commentary channel. And she said, honestly, more influenced to buy Charlotte Tilbury. It's as if our minds have collided because I am more influenced to spend more money on Charlotte Tilbury after the Tarte brand trip than to spend money on Tarte. I actually had zero inclination to go on the Tarte website. If I'm wrong and you guys have been influenced, please let me know. I'm not even like trying to shade anyone. I'm not trying to attack anyone. I'm just broaching the conversation of has anyone been influenced to buy anything from Tarte after this Tarte brand trip? And if you bought something, let me know what you bought and if it's good so that I can maybe be influenced. But right now I'm like, whoa, I'm so glad I have those Charlotte Tilbury highlights that Alex L promoted. They're really great. I agree with her. I don't think, well, I can't wait to use my new Tarte product. This is so sad because he spent like 2 million on this. Because people said adding up all the costs, they all flew Emirates first class. They all stayed in hotels that are like one to two grand a night, each girly, each one. They did like riding on camels in the desert and like all this beautiful, extravagant, extraordinary stuff. And apparently this all costs like 2 million. So good for them. The comments on this TikTok are saying, I was like kind of sad for Tarte, lol, everyone barely used their products. No, I barely saw any Tarte products even being used. All that free makeup and they still use Charlotte Tilbury and Mario. I'm saying, and Rafai. Rafai was really popular on this Tarte brand trip. And then I saw another TikTok. I'm gonna play it now. You know how it's rumored that Tarte made like no money by this trip at all? They're getting no sales from the marketing. Well, three days ago, jobs for senior marketing coordinator and director of brand marketing came up on LinkedIn. This is the founder. She literally hopped off the plane and was like, you're fired. And now she's trying to like drum up more like talk about the Dubai trip and people wanting these products by giving away like all the products in one villa. 
And with her doing this and these jobs opening up three days after on LinkedIn, I say it's pretty safe to say they didn't get any sales from this Dubai trip and it went completely the opposite direction they were thinking. Because her video to try and like save the marketing for this and drum up new business literally goes, y'all, so-and-so had a great idea. Just a random name of one of her employees, not the director of marketing. So it makes me think this is true and she did fire them. A hiring a new, a new marketing person? That's not a great sign. Like I really think like if they, if this did well, this marketing person would have had a promotion just money wise. Like they would have just been paid more. The fact that they're looking for a new marketing person makes me think that this senior marketing person didn't do a great job. I think for these brand trips to work, there has to be a contract in place. There has to be a contract of do not mention any other makeup brand. If you're going to use on your face, use it off camera. Don't show the product only use Tarte. And that's not even really like a crazy thing to ask for because when I do brand deals, for example, or when you want those brand deals, you know, if you're promoting NordVPN, you're not allowed to promote any other VPN service for X amount of months afterwards. And obviously in the same video, you can't be like, oh, by the way, I really like this other VPN service because that'll be stupid. What's the point of paying someone to promote your brand? If they're gonna promote a different brand two seconds later. They should have given these influencers the memo for like what they're expecting from this brand. The CEO of Tarte, Maureen Kelly, actually did an exclusive interview with Glossy after all of this went down to set the record straight on the brand's influencer trip to Dubai. 29 influencers and their plus ones because Alex like bought her mum and a few people bought their mums as well. So it was like over probably 50 people at this point. So this included 13 American influencers, including big names like Alex Earl, uh, Meredith Duxbury, Ellie Zeela. They flew on Emirates business class. Now the brand has become infamous for its lavish influencer trips. It's now hosted over 20 since 2015. Tarte really were known for like brand trips. That was really it for them. Uh, which have TikTok aghast, questioning how much it's spending, how it can afford such a trip, whether it's appropriate in a recession, if it will make the brand feel unrelatable to audiences. And here's the thing, while social media influencers who seem to charge a fee to get out of bed have surely upped the ante on what brand trips look like, they have in fact always existed. It's just that when beauty editors were traveling on a brand's dime, especially before the dawn of social media, say on a trip with Chanel, Louis Vuitton, YSL, beauty or even tart, the experience wasn't made available for wide public consumption the way it is today when its influence is being wooed. But also brands didn't see the name but also brands didn't see the same return on investment they do now. For its part, the hashtag Tart Dubai trip currently has 2.1 million views on TikTok. Maureen, the CEO, said this isn't our first trip, but I can of course understand how people may have a knee-jerk reaction to seeing content overload like this. That said, Tart has for a long time now protest putting its marketing budget into building relationships with influencers. So I think, like I said, I think the main purpose of this trip was to persuade these influencers that Tarte is like a great brand to work with because they are the new up and coming influencers. So it doesn't make sense to invite the Mannies, the Lauras, because they're like the old school influencers. Like they now have to like try and bring the new influencers over to their side. But I don't think they have. Like, yeah, Dubai was great. And they're all gonna be like, wow, I love this Tarte Dubai trip. But they're still using Charlotte Tilbury, Makeup and Mario and Refai at the end of the day. Every day, brands make decisions about how to spend their marketing budgets. For some companies, that means a huge Super Bowl commercial or a multi-million dollar contract with a famous athlete or celeb. We've never done traditional advertising and instead we invest in building relationships and building up communities. I have to laugh at some of these conspiracies. I will say people are creative, but no, I can confirm that we definitely didn't have help from any tourism boards. People thought it was the Dubai tourism board that funded this whole trip. It wasn't. However, they did partner with Sephora Middle East. People also talk about the Emirates tickets that would cost 22,000 per person, plus plus one. And she said, but you also have to consider that we're inviting people to take time out of their jobs and life and get on a long haul flight for a quick three day event that can take a toll on anyone, no matter how excited you are for a trip. We want to make this a seamless and pleasant of an experience for everyone. They also stayed at a Ritz property, which is $1,000 per night. As for why Tot spent hundreds of thousands of dollars taking creators to Dubai, the short answer is a new foundation, an upcoming launch dubbed the Maracuja Juicy Glow Foundation. Have I seen this foundation anywhere? Have I seen it being like hyped up? I haven't. Apparently the formula took two years to create. Why wasn't anyone saying this? I think people should have been given talking points. Like, hey, we're releasing this foundation. These are the talking points. It took us two years. It's gonna make your skin look fantastic and beautiful. Can you mention that in a TikTok somewhere? So that's what she said. But clearly some marketing person isn't marketing for Tarte anymore. But let me know what you guys think. Are you influenced to buy Tarte again? Are you influenced to go on the website? Did you type in tarte.com to just figure things out? Because I haven't. I haven't even gone on the website. Not even Instagram, not even TikTok. I really haven't. Have you tried any new products because of this? Are you gonna try the foundation because of this? 
have you heard about the foundation before I told you about it? I don't know. Just let me know what you guys think about this. I think it's super interesting. Subscribe to that bell icon for engagement and I'll see you in my next one.